Hello, 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 and welcome to uh, Standard Alien Dawn. This is a YouTube exclusive, a pack plays, and we're going to try to keep these in half hour segments. Now, please note that it's been a while since I played this, has been a few updates. If you enjoy RimWorld, you will enjoy this game. It is kind of addicting like RimWorld. The problem is it's newer, so there's not as much stuff out and about and around for it. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to do a new game. Now, you got different scenarios for this. You have random crash landing while en route to the outer world. The passenger ship Alien Dawn suffers a catastrophic hyperdrive malfunction and starts breaking apart in orbit of a null planet up to four passengers reach one of the inner Emergency landing po pods. This is the story of their survival. That mission: find a way back to civilization. Trading outpost: a small group of close by a one-way ticket to the uncharted territories of the outer worlds, where they plan to set up a small trading outpost. Up to three passengers land on the planet with all their money that they had. This is the story of the Enterprise. Their mission: inquire enough galactic coins to buy the planet. Military outpost. This is new since I played. I think. Well, I think both are new since I played. A team of adventure scientists and soldiers is sent to a heavily infested planet where they must construct and defend a core communication relay, which will enable interstellar communication in the sector. Up to six team members are dropped on the unexplored world far from civilized galaxy. This is their story of their struggle. The mission, build an ensilable relay. Flash me. So this was your original scenario, crash landing, and we are going to do that. Now region, hot, so the Sorbius <clears throat> is the main one, hot desert dominated by dunes, oasis, this isn't dry river beds, so we're just going to stick with the original there, there's Concordia, there's a goddess of balance. So these are like your goddesses when you pick them. So this is balanced, uh, tough challenges, but provides time to prepare for them. Nyx is the goddess of night and governs everything that lurks in the dark, be, be it a thought, action, or deed. Chaos, the beginners of chaos, everything compared to the chaos or return to chaos. <clears throat> so this is a balance. This is your balance game. And so like, this is your goddesses and gods. It's like Grim World. <laughs> We're going to stay with kind of cardia. There's different game difficulties. Relaxing. Normal. A little bit harder. Challenging if you know what you're doing. And this one is just basically crazy. And this is real challenging. We're just going to stick with the normal kind of medium. Seed. Game rules you can actually turn into this eternal bliss as a new permanent boost of plus 50 to all survivors, replacing the initial happiness bonus. There's the pop. Oh, cool. Peace first, disable aggressive animals that attacks. Random survivors start the game with a cast of random survivors based on the seed selected as a bonus. All survivors capable of combat have a real good sniper. Loot cause survivor skills are set to zero regardless of bio facts and traits. Overquad survivor skills are set to 10, 6 of them different, they're up and capable. This is kind of cool. Big family. That's kind of cool. But we're not going to add any of this. We're going to play with kind of the same game. So now that you know see the settings, you got these. So just like RimWorld, they have their bonuses and everything so like Katina their traits are light eater they don't eat it so an impeccable healer and then if you get their sisters or their family it helps and it tells you about about their I <coughs> remember correctly interest it means that they're gonna they want to do that and they're gonna grow in that better so this one's all around it doesn't have she doesn't have any things that um is bad, so we're gonna keep her. Laura 
as a farmer, seeds and harvest, again, balanced. Nothing that they don't want to do. Problem is we don't have that net. Yoko doesn't want to construct. I mean, they'll do it, but they don't, it doesn't give any bonuses or anything like that. Very interesting crafting. Um, again, another killer, Xander is another kind of interesting one. Gloomy. So let's go look at Krista just to see. Excuse me. I think there's a lot more people than though. So Paulette is really not one I want. I want combat just to protect me from the animals. That That's my strategy. I feel like I'm missing. Maybe it's one. He's kind of old. Connor, good at combat. Daniel, so incapable means they can't do it at all. They will refuse to do it. And different means they just don't, they just get like a negative buff. Kanya. Jack. I think maybe we'll replace Yoko with Jack. I forget how to do this. There we go, double click. We don't want really you because you're incapable. Who's your daughter of Annette? Do you see Annette? They get boosts if they're in with their family or friends. There's a net. Well, that's not bad. But I think we'll go with this setup. I don't know. We got healing. Got some crafting. Kind of got a balance and not really have any indifference. But there's no incapable. Oh. There you go, now you can hear me. Up and over all that. Sorry, I had to do that. So up here is your resources. That's what you have. These are your people. So there's quick things that they have. So like if they're in meltdown thing, they're not gonna do anything. And so this kind of tells you what it is. And it tells you their health conditions. And so then there's gonna be like stuff in this crash landing for us. And so like then you wanna observe these things to see if they're gonna be capable. 
And you can always go back and look at these people, their health, happiness, equipped weapon, cold tolerance, best at. And then this shows you kind of what is ailing them. Happiness, where their happiness sets. Uh, clothing, you can see what clothing they have, and then you can read like what kind of uh, armor it provides. And then you can be reminded of their skills. Draft is whether or not uh, you're going to be able to take direct control or not. This is used during combat. Uh, profile, this tells you again, you go back about it. You can see what they eat. Uh, and then you change what they're going to eat when their relaxation times are. Uh, this is restrictions. You know, fight back attackers. So like, Jack would be good to fight back. Sleep on ground. Eat on foot. Storage. We had to build a stockpile or store. It. We don't have any wood. Um, camp. Shelter. We'll have to like make a quick shelter. Like her, we could tell her to go. Observe. Observe. And observe. If I hit spacebar, it's gonna go that. And there's two that's fleeing danger because things are exploding over here. Now you can scavenge that. And then they'll do, if someone's doing something, they'll, they'll do it at all. And then you can restrict, like, their activities, what they can and can't do. I just gotta remember how. Cut. Sounds like a, uh... I don't want to cut the squash like plants. There we go. Some sort of flying bug. I don't know if it's aggressive or not. But we're going to need wood. Manage tamed animals. It's cool. Expeditions, research. I have no research desk. Schedule, there you go. So you can see what they're doing here. So like this is anything time. Work. So Xander is best at night. Remember correctly? Yeah. So Xander you can like go like, if you go to his schedule, go to Xander. I find if you don't build in relax times, they don't normally relax. And sleep times, it's like the same thing. They don't really relax. It, it's, it's weird. This would be one. Mm -hmm. 
you're gonna shift your like entire schedule. Cause you like being up at night. I think I did this wrong. There we go. We'll see how that works out for them. And like, if you don't build in a, if you take, a, if you tell them to work on a certain day. At a certain time, they're gonna work and not eat, so you gotta remember to let them have a chance to eat. Why? What are your traits? Got to survive. So I'm impatient, so we're just going to kind of let this uh, roll. I don't know why. Like, she won't. Do anything. What is wrong with her? I don't know. I don't know what's wrong. For now. We are going to just put some sleeping spots on the ground. And it's not that we can't change it later. Just We don't have, like, anything. This fits three. And I don't know why you're idling. I don't get it. I might have to build in stronger work times, stricter work times. He's not going to. For now. I know we don't have storage space. Because right now we don't have a place to store. Mm -hmm. 
and no one wants to see him to store. I don't know why. It's <sighs> frustrating. Ah, I see. So for right now, let's see Laura. You can deserve and research for now. Kill and hunt. Xander can construct. I say they're not really indifferent to anything. And I'll have to send priorities to these. But for now, we're just going to... Get it so we can get everything kind of situated. Because if I don't do that, I'm going to not have any resources. Go over here and get these guys to have some wood. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to build a shelter. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's grass. Where the heck do I get grass? Or hay. Uh, brown the hay. I want you to actually observe. Don't worry about the wood. Flying insect. I know there's insufficient storage space. But that's what we're gonna go with for right now. Is that that needs to be observed? That could be butchered. That I don't think we're gonna get to in time. Maybe that's on the ground. We can observe that. No, there's lots of this. So the first day is a lot of actually like just trying to get along. And figure things out. We're gonna have to find a space that's probably a little bit more flat than what we have here to defend. All this is good for like short fences. Because things can't really climb up here. 
So in a way it's good, but in a way I think it's bad. If that makes any kind of like sense. So like I won't be able to as be easily defensible, but same time there's not a lot of room to build like buildings that's needed and stuff like that. So for defensible space it's absolutely amazing. But other than that, so like it seems like it's kind of like Rim World. You, in a way, it's a realistic Rim World, and so it can get hard to uh, do. Um, so it's a slow start off, just like Grim World, and then it seems like Okay, research. I need to be able to build a research table though. kind of building this. I said for now it's just kind of just getting it established. So um, I could say what's in there. So I just wanted to be cooked. I'll put medicines in there too. And here we could do quick recipes, veggie soup, meat soup, emergency rations, <laughs> and then like tasty recipes, chef's recipes, refuel, mirror, so then I get to completely it. And so until we have we're just gonna go ten. And then we're oops, I don't want tasty. We're gonna go meat soup until we have ten.
because I really don't have the means to do any of the others. And we're gonna go ahead on this and we're gonna keep these off of there for now. Just so I know what it helps organize and kind of keep it. And we're gonna take off apparel weapons. And we're gonna put them here for now. And here you can craft like animal fats, slop. So that must be for uh, other things. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and say that could be scavenged. That could be scavenged. Go through here. Now they should automatically bring back things. I want to put a small shooting target there. Why not mine the rock chucks? I don't have a good uh, setup. So, if I pause, this is what the first one is. So overgrown insects, we're gonna hunt. We're actually going to draft you. Oh shoot, I don't know if you have any weapons equipped. I don't think I have any weapons. Are there weapons in here? Where is Jack? Hold on. Go equip that. Laura? Come closer to Jack. Jack will shoot him. Oops, we'll observe that first and then we'll butcher it. And we lost harvest. Insufficient storage space. <laughs> oh, I need stockpiles. Ooh, non edibles. OK. 
Okay, let's go like this. Go storage. Not storage yet. Camp. We're gonna put a shelter. Right there. And we'll put another shelter. Right next to it. And then we'll do this as our stockpile area. And that way, we now have an area for stockpiling for like wood and rock and metal. And things will get better. And I don't know if this is technically in the weather, but so we're gonna put it. It's not there. We'll put it there. And I think I may have rotated it wrong. And so like no, this is the basics of just getting started. And so it's going to be kind of a lot, lot, lot real. So now that we got a research desk, we can go to research. And you can have things like metal, emergency rations. You can make wine, pickling, tailoring, weaponsmithing, wooden fortifications, you know, animal taming, construction, chicken, synthetics. So there's like lots of different things that you can start researching. We're gonna put that that in the queue. We'll accept that one. That one. That one. That one. We're gonna try and get some things kind of done up. I take that off. Dudes like that. And so now we're going to start prioritizing people now that we're getting things kind of like situated. Plant still has not been observed. Ooh. Don't know what's in here. But like they're all super busy right when they first get here. So now And so it's not a big deal. Because you have to gather stuff. And then we got to make sure we get enough for the winter. and everything. So we are going to go ahead and leave it off there. And I want to thank you all for joining me on this kind of like tutorial. I know it's still at the beginning. Please bear with me. It will get better. And it is like RimWorld. Thank you for joining me on this adventure and we hope to see you on the next.